Hello guys, in this lesson, we want to move our data to the backend and load everything from the backend side. You can watch this video if you like to do this. Here's what we want to do on this lesson. The first thing that we're going to do is creating the backend folder. So go to the code, collapse your frontend folder like this and click here at the empty space of Explorer. Then click on new folder icon at the top. Then write backend. The backend folder should be on the same level as the frontend folder. Here we go. We did it. Now we need to initialize an npm package inside it. So go to the code, right click on the backend folder and select open in integrated terminal. It will open a new terminal on the backend folder or you can open a new terminal and write cd backend. That's exactly the same. And write npm in it dash y for creating a new package JSON file that we need for our Node.js backend project. So let's check this one too. Now we want to copy our data.ts from the frontend to the backend SRC folder. So let's go to the code, right click on the backend folder and create a new folder with the name of SRC. Then go to the frontend folder on the SRC folder, drag the data.js and paste it to the SRC folder of the backend. So we did this too. Now we need two packages to run our Node.js server. The Express, as you know, helps us to have an HTTP server on top of Node.js and course helps us to have our frontend and backend on different ports and different addresses. So let's install them. Go to the code and make sure you are on the backend folder. Then write npm install express space course then press enter after finishing the installation check out the package json file on the backend folder and come to the dependencies you need to see course and express if you see them it means they are successfully installed now close the terminal and close the package json and let's go to the next step that is creating the git ignore file. You may ask why we need the git ignore file. That's because if you don't have a git ignore file, your code changes will show everything that's inside your node modules. We don't need node modules because our npm package manager handles it. For ignoring them, we need git ignore file. So right click on the backend and create a new file with the name of dot git ignore and inside it just write the name of the node module you can copy it from here right click on it select rename copy it and paste it here now as you can see we have only five changes and none of them are related to the node modules close the git ignore and let's go to the next step that is creating the server js file we configure our server inside the server js file let's do it open the explorer right click on the src folder on the backend folder then create a new file with the name of server.js close the explorer here first of all we want to import express so write import express from express but as you know, this kind of import doesn't work by default. This is the module type. For enabling it, go to the explorer on the package JSON. Here somewhere inside the root curly braces, press enter and write type and select module. Then close the package JSON. Now it's going to work. The second thing that we want to import is course from course package now let's create the express app we can do that by writing const app equal to express and calling it so when you call the default export of the express you're going to have an express app now we want to use this course package so let's write app.use and give it the course call it and give it an object set the credentials to true and set its origin to an array that has only one item that is http colon slash slash localhost 3000 as you can see the localhost 3000 is where we are serving our react app and we cannot serve our express app on the same port so we are going to have a different port for front end and the back end of our project and by default request from one address to another address will be denied to make it possible you need to use course package and the only origin that will be allowed to send requests to this server will be localhost 3000 now the next thing that i want to do is serving the express app on a specific port so let's write const port equal to 5000 i want to serve it on the port 5000 you can 
select another port and write app.listen to this port number that is 5000 and give it a callback so whenever it's finished it's gonna show a console log that says listening on port and port number that is 5000 put in a space here to make it more readable here we go let's see where we are we created the server JS, we added and configured the express and the course. Now is the time for adding the food router. We are going to put all the APIs about the food on the food router. So let's do it. Open the explorer, right click on the SRC folder and create a folder with the name of routers. Then right click on it and create a new file with the name of food.router.js. On the first line of the food router, I want to import router from express and import sample foods and sample tags from the data.js. But as you can see, I have no code completion. For having a beautiful code completion while you're importing JavaScript modules into each other, you can right click on the backend folder, create a new file with the name of jsconfig.json. Then you can write this code here. Here you open a curly braces, then you write compiler options and set its module resolution to node and write include this src folder so inside this src folder whenever you want to resolve a module into each other it will use the node type so now if we close this file then write sample foods again as you can see it wants to import it from data.js so write sample foods and sample tags from data.js now let's close the explorer and after the data.js we need to put .js because when you set the type of your package json to module it will only going to understand the node modules packages without .js and for the local modules that you created you need to put .js at the end i know you're going to get errors for this so make sure to put .js at the end of your javascript modules now let's continue just like the express app for having a router we just need to write const the router equal to and call the router from the express now for the first api i want to write router.get slash that is the root api for this router comma request response and the handler let's write response.send sample foods as simple as this so whenever we call the root API of the food router, it's going to give us the sample foods. We defined the router, but we didn't export it. So write export default router. Now we need to use this router inside the server.js. So let's get back to the server.js. And here before the port, write app.use slash API slash foods and give it the food router. But we didn't import the food router let's import it at the top so write import food router from dot slash routers slash food router dot js remember you need to put this dot js every time so we just imported the food router here and we used it for this address so now if we put this address on the local host 5000 Inside the browser, we are going to get the sample foods. Okay, now let's see where we are. We successfully added the food router and jsconfig, but we didn't add all the APIs. Now is the time for installing the node mon, that is stand for node monitor. We can run our package using node, but every time that we make a change on the code, we need to restart our node project. By using the node mon, it will automatically refreshes our backend every time we save the changes. So now let's go to the code from the view, select terminal, then here write npm install dash D capital D, node mon and press enter and we put that d here because we want to install node mon as a dev dependency so if you open the explorer go to the back end and click on package json you will see that the node mon is not part of the dependencies it is part of the dev dependencies because we just want it for the development okay now that we installed the node mon here inside the package json we can go to the script section and press enter and write dev then in front of the dev we can write node mon 
src slash server.js so we are going to serve our server.js file inside the src folder using notemod now for running this we can write npm run dev and press enter and as you can see we are seeing this log message from the server.js that says listening on port 5000 inside the terminal now if you go to the browser open a new tab and write localhost 5000 slash api slash foods and press enter you will see all the foods data has a json inside the browser so it means our api works and if you say what is this api slash foods it's coming from here we set this address or this router now let's go to the food router and add other apis we want to move everything that we had inside the food service into the food router the second api is for getting all the tags so write food.get slash tags give it a handler with request and response and write response.send sample tags now if we go to the browser and write slash api slash foods slash tags you're going to see all the tags as you can see this slash tags is added to the end of slash api and slash foods the next api is the search api when we search for a food let's write router.get slash search slash colon search term this search term is the route parameter give it a request and response and handler first of all we want to get this search term from the params of the request so write const search term and make it equal to request.params now that we have the search term everything is very similar to the food service so let's go to the food service on the front end on the src folder go to the services folder and open the food service on the search function copy what it has go to the food router and paste it make it equal to const foods and now we are going to have exact same result because we have the sample foods here on the back end and we just got search term from the route parameter and we are using it here now we just need to send these foods to the response of the api so write response.send foods now if we go to the browser and here write search slash pizza here we are going to see the pizza pepperoni and the vegetable pizza so it works perfectly let's go to the next api that is finding the foods based on the tags it is very similar to the search so write router.get slash tag slash colon tag let's give it the handler right request response first of all let's get the tag parameter so write const tag equal to request.params once again we can go to this food service here find get all by tag function and copy what's in front of the return Let's go to the food router and write const foods equal to this. And once again, we just need to send it using the response.send foods. And now if you go to the browser and replace this search with tag and replace this pizza with something like launch and press enter, you will see all the foods that have the launch tags at their tags. So this one works perfectly too. Now let's write the last API and connect it to the front end. So here write router.get slash food ID. So anything after this slash will be treated as a route parameter. And that's the reason that we put it at the end. If you put this API on the top of these, these APIs are not going to work let's give it the handler write request response first of all i want to get the food id equal to request.params okay now once again we can go to the food service and find get by id function and copy its code and paste it here write const food food it's a single food equal to this and write response.send food Here we go we have food ids from one to six let's check that out inside the browser remove launch and tag and write for example one as you can see we have the first food two we have the second food so this one works too now let's see where we are 
we created the server.js file and we added all the APIs. We installed the Nodeman, we added the dev script to the package JSON and we ran it. Now we want to connect our front end to the back end. And for doing this, there is a very good package with the name of Axios. So we need to install it on the front end. Let's go to the code, open a new terminal, go to the front end folder and write npm install Axios. Okay, let's close the terminal, open the explorer, close the backend and open the package JSON on the front end. You need to see Axios on the dependencies. Here we go, close the package JSON and let's open the food service.js file. We need to connect all of these to the backend. Here at the top, remove these import sample foods and sample tags because we don't have the data.js on the front end anymore. We moved it to the backend. All right, import Axios from Axios. Here for the get all function, remove these sample foods, put curly braces and write this. So we are making a get request using the Axios, the slash API slash foods. We are getting the data and we are returning the data. Don't forget to put this await because this function will return a promise. Save it and let's go for the search. Remove everything for the search, put curly braces and connect it to the API. We are calling slash API slash foods slash search, but we also passing this search term parameter at the end of this API. So we are going to have filtered foods based on this search term and we are going to get the data, then we can return it. Let's go for get all tags, remove sample tags and connect it to the backend. Here we go. Similar to these ones. Let's go for the get all by tag. Keep this line because if the tag is equal to all, we are going to have all the tags. So this is still the case. Remove the return part. Then let's do it just like the others. And here, as you can see, we have the tag slash and we pass this tag to the server and we are going to get the filtered data based on the tag. Now let's finish the get by ID, remove everything that it has, put curly braces, then connect it to the backend. Here we go. And as you can see, we are passing the foot ID to the slash API slash foods. And it's going to give us the food that we want. And we connected all of our functions to the backend. Now, if we go to the browser, we have an error. Oh, it says that I cannot find the data.js module inside the use cart inside the hooks. Let's go there, open the explorer, the hooks, open the use cart hook. And we accidentally imported the sample food here that we didn't use. Let's remove it. We go to the browser and zoom back. We are still seeing nothing. But what? If you open the inspect and go to the console, you will see that it's trying to get the API from the port 3000, not port 5000. We need to tell the Axios why we are not on the production. It needs to use port 5000, not the default port of the current address. For doing this, let's go to the code, open the explorer on the front end, right click on the SRC and create a new file with the name of Axios config.js close the explorer and write and import axios and let's change the axios default base url so write axios defaults dot base url equal to if the process dot env dot node underline env is not equal to production then use the local host on the port 5000. Otherwise, use the slash that means use the current address. Now that we created this, we just need to use it inside the index.js on the front end side. So inside the src folder, select index.js. And here inside the imports part, import dot slash axios config. By importing it, this script will be automatically called and the base URL of the Axios will be set on localhost 5000 when we are not on the production mode. So let's save the index.js file and get back to the browser and boom, we have everything that we had, but all of them are coming from the server. Now let's test them one by one. Let's search for something like meat. As you can see, it works. Let's select a tag. As you can see, the tags works fine too. When we 
select the food we can see the food and the foods and the tags are loaded very well this was for this lesson you've been watching code with nasir and i hope to see you next time